2019 is coming to a close already, which is insane. And 2020 is almost here. Um, so that means I'm going to start my end of the year celebration by talking about my most anticipated movies of 2020. Also, one thing I wanted to mention is my best movies of 2019 list is coming. But my planned date for that video is like January 7th. Um, that's the earliest it'll come out, and I bet that's the day it will come out. So yeah, look forward to that. Um, it's gonna be a little late. I'm sorry about that, but like, I wanna make sure I catch up on all, all my 2019 movies. There's still gonna be a couple that I've missed. But I'm gonna try and, like, get the important ones out. Anyways, um, movies will definitely be added, and spots will definitely be switched, um, on this list. Which is why I will have an IMDb page where you can find... Um, in the description with an updated version of my most anticipated movies of the year. Anyways, let's get started with this list. First, I want to mention a bunch of honorable mentions, and I'm not going to go into des a description of all any of these, um, because, like, there's just so many honorable mentions, and, um, yeah, I'm sorry about that, but, like, there's just so many, it would take too long to describe, um, all them, but the top ten I'll get into more detail with. Now, let's get started with Ghostbusters Afterlife, Boss Level, the Hitman's Wife's Bodyguard, Waldo, Halloween Kills, Top Gun Maverick, The Rhythm Section, The Last Full Measure, Bad Boys for Life, Black Widow, and Wonder Woman 1984, and also The Conjuring 3. Now let's get started with this top 10. Kicking off the list is Greyhound. Um, all I know is that this is a Tom Hanks World War II movie. And honestly, just hearing that makes me so excited for the movie because I'm a big war movie buff. I love um, history or war films. I just think, um, you know, a lot of them are great. Um, still a lot are in my top 10 as well. Uh, and or actually, actually, are there any in my top 10? I don't think there are, but still, I love war movies. Um, I always respect everything that these soldiers have done for us. And like, you know, just, you know, war in general is just so, int or like World War II especially was very interesting like to learn about and everything so um this stuff definitely has me intrigued um greyhound all i need to know is that tom hanks is in it and that that has me sold um i bet this movie is gonna be great comes out in may so hopefully it's really good um yeah i'm just really excited for it next up is a quiet place part two um i watched the trailer for this movie and my excitement for this movie went up so much because it looks super intense. Killian Murphy looks amazing in it. Emily Blunt, again, amazing. Um, and all the kid actors as well, Noah Jupe. And um, I forget the girl's name, but she looks great too. Just look up the Quiet Place cast and you'll see her. Um, and yeah, I think John, since John Krasinski is coming back to direct it, um, I have high hopes, so I hope it's good. And it looks like they're expanding the world of this you know, quiet place. So yeah, I just hope it's great. In 8th place is The Last Duel. This is, um, what's his name, Ridley Scott's next movie. Um, it takes place during the mid Middle Ages, like, type of time period. And, um, that's all I need to hear for me to be sold, basically. Um, I think, you know, there's a chance this movie might come out at the beginning of 2021, but I'm putting it out here just to be safe. Um, if it is, like, released at the end of 2020, or, like, in, um, you know, I, its initial release is on Christmas, but with 1917, it's probably going to get pushed into January, like 1917 did, so, um, that, that enough with the release date. Uh, this movie just sounds interesting. It has Matt Damon, Ben Affleck, and Adam Driver. That's all I need. That, I mean, like, that's all I need, guys. Like, that's really, like, do you need to tell me anything else to have me excited for this movie? And it's directed by Ridley Scott, and it takes place during the Middle Ages. And, oh man, I, I, just thinking about that, just talking about it makes me so excited for it. So I hope that movie delivers, I hope it's great. Um, it's probably gonna be an Oscar nominee, so yeah, I just hope it's great. In seventh place is Dune. Um, this is Denis Villeneuve, Villeneuve, yeah, Villeneuve I, don't, I don't know how to say his last name. But um, his other movies, uh, Sicario, um, I haven't seen Blade Runner 2049 yet, but I know in Sicario, just Sicario is such a great movie. Um, I just, like, if you haven't seen it, just, I recommend it. Um, and I'm popular opinion. I actually like the second Sicario more than the first. But, you know, just this new movie looks, sounds so interesting, and I'm super excited for it. With the material being used in this movie and just the way, like, I think things, like, will play out, or, like, not play out, um, what am I trying to say? Just, I think 
I don't know what I'm trying to say there. I just think Dennis Villeneuve is going to do a great job with this movie, and I'm super excited for it. In sixth place is Antlers. Um, I watched the trailer, I think there's the second trailer for this movie. It looks intense, and it looks scary, and usually, like, the horror that gets me is either, like, the psychological stuff, <laughs> because, like, that's the stuff that makes you go, like, whoa, when you're watching it, because the stuff that comes out of, like, your closet or something, or, like, the scary demons and shit, that's not really scary to me anymore, it's just, like, you know, I think the stuff that makes people go crazy or, like, just very disturbing stuff is the scarier stuff. Um, and this movie looks like it has that, and it looks intense, it looks, um, I'm not, I don't really know what to expect more from this movie, I, it looks like it's gonna have some great character development too, just by the way it looks, I can predict that there's gonna be some great character work, and this movie's gonna have a lot of effort put into it, and, um, I'm really excited for it. Next up is The Gentleman. Um, when I watched the trailer for this movie at first, I wasn't that excited for it, then I watched the trailer in the theater, and I don't know what happened. It, this happens a couple times. But watching it in the trailer, um, in the theater, uh, the trailers are way better in the theater. I'm just gonna say that they get your excitement like going, and um, you know, it's just I I looked at um, or I just the stuff they showed in it looks so good. Um, it looked very original. It looks very fun. Um, it actually has a 71% on Rotten Tomatoes right now, so that's definitely something that I'm happy to hear about. Um, and this movie looks like it's just going to be a ton of fun. I hope it has um, just, I don't know, I just hope it's really good. That's all I can ask for it. In fourth place is The King's Man. This movie was supposed to come out in a month, but now we have to wait uh, nine months for it because, I don't know, stuff happens. Um, but yeah, The King's Man... Um, I love the first Kingsman, and um, I actually really liked the second movie. In fact, when I saw it, it was actually my favorite movie. Um, not anymore, definitely, because now I like I've rewatched it, and I don't like it as much. But still, it has a special place in my heart. But the Kingsman, I hope it's better than the second. Um, and actually, I hope it's better than the first. But you know, you can't put your expectations too high. But um, the second trailer, that part at the end where they're just going on a massive like killing spree. Um, that huge fight and uh, the scene with the plane and everything. Oh man, this movie looks like it's gonna be a ton of fun. Um, I hope it's great too. I hope they have the feel of the first movie. And yeah, I can't be more excited for it. Kicking off the top three is 1917. This was actually on my most anticipated movies of 2019, but they moved it 10 days into January. So yeah, here it is on my most anticipated of 2020 list. Um, but 1917, my, like, you know, just my excitement for this movie is off the charts. I've heard so many great things about this movie, people saying it's the next, like, it's a, it's a new masterpiece. It's gonna be a modern classic, and honestly, that kind of, those kind of words make me feel very excited to watch this movie. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Um, I get to see it in a week, and yeah, I just hope this movie delivers, I hope they... Um, just depict war, you know, um, or not depict war, but like, just show like the crate or like the disturbing stuff that happens in war. And I hope it gets on my emotional strings. Strings, I don't know what words I'm using, but yeah, this movie looks great. Um, I'm really excited for it, and hopefully it is great. Taking the spot of second place is No Time to Die. Um, James Bond, yeah, you don't really need to tell me anymore uh, i watched that end of this trailer and i'm already sold and um james bond slime history isn't kind to men who play god yo i swear when i heard that i was like yo this movie's gonna be sick and um the bad thing about that is it comes out at the end of my ski season which is honestly worse than a movie coming out ra out around the time i start school but still hopefully you know this is gonna be the the goodness of April, that and Antlers, so yeah, I just hope this movie is great and I'm really excited for it. But in first place is my most anticipated movie of 2020 is Tenet. Wow, man, um, this was already my most anticipated of the year before the trailer even came out and after the trailer, um, well, I didn't watch the full trailer, but they showed six minutes at my Rise of Skywalker, um, showing and, um, I watched the end of the trailer, and man, it looks amazing. Uh, the six-minute clip was absolutely phenomenal. Um, I have a feeling this is going to be the best movie of 2020 for me. 
Um, I hope it's great and I'm really, really excited for it. And um, I just hope it's like fantastic. And it's Christopher Nolan, so you don't really need to tell me anymore. Oh, and John David Washington and Robert Pattinson. And man, that, that cast already just, oh man, I'm, I'm really excited for this movie. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Stay in tuned for more videos and I'll see you guys next time.